Hi everyone, I'm Janneke and welcome to my channel Books and Stitches, wherein I sometimes post book videos but mainly post cross stitch videos. This is no change, I am going to show you another cross stitching video. So if you're new here, thank you for checking me out. Uh, in general, I have eight projects that I focus on, one of which is a 50 a day project. And the other seven, I have a rotation with like stitch count goals that I rotate through them with. Um, so I'm going to show you those first. But since last video, I have added a little game with 10 new projects um, that I'm going to be playing around with after that. So definitely continue watching. I think it is really fun. But first, for my 50th day, that is Six by Taylor and Cromwell. It is based on the musical Six, which is based on the Six Wives of Henry VIII. The paper has gone through some shit, so ignore that. But yeah, this is what it looks like when it's finished. And I'm just working on this black border. Um, it is technically six different part, uh, six different pieces, and the black border is not charted. But I like the way it looked all together, so I am stitching this black border. And like I said, I'm just doing 50 stitches a day. I am a couple days behind, so I'm trying to do 100 stitches a day until I'm caught up. But this is where I'm starting from. Once this section is finished and I move the hoop, I will show it to you in its entirety. But we're working on the outer edge. So we're working over here. And these four blocks are all done. So we're now working on getting this one closed in. And then we only have this one left and if I did my math correctly the border will be finished this year which is so exciting um but yeah you will see this when I move the hoop and at the end of the video then for my rotation the project I'm currently working on is my really big Disney piece um it is called Mickey as Artists and I got it through Zana Cross Stitch I don't know if it's still available last time I checked it wasn't but after that, I know Tracy from World of Stitches did buy it. So I think it was like posted again with a different name or something, maybe. So you just have to look for her Etsy store. But this is what it will look like when it's finished. And my goal on this is 2000 stitches. Now I started my rotation on this yesterday evening, pretty late in the evening. So I only did 130-ish stitches on it. So a lot of progress on this will hopefully be made in this video. Uh, I am working on this page with the banister and the bottom of Prince Eric. This is what I am starting from. I only removed the hoop on this one when I finished the page. I don't think you'll see the whole page, the whole piece, this video, but it is in previous videos and it will be in future videos whenever I like finish the page, but I think that's more than 2,000 stitches. So I don't think that will happen this time around. But yeah, this is Cinderella's dress and this is the banister we're trying to finish and we're working on this section. It's a lot of whites that you probably won't be able to see very well, but you know, they also need to happen. This piece has a lot of whites, especially the um, bottom left corner. I started in the bottom right, but the bottom left with all the Dalmatians, that is so much white. Tracy from World of Stitches is started in that corner and it looks incredible what she's doing, but wow, that is so much white. I am not looking forward to it, but I also am looking forward to it because that would mean I would have finished most of it if I reached that point because I started over here. So yeah, anyway, that is what I'm working on as my focus piece. So we're going to try to get 2000 stitches on that. Hopefully that will get done this week. It should. Unless I'm like doing really badly mentally or something, which does happen. There are times where I just don't, I really don't do well. I'm really tired and I don't get much stitching done at all. But as long as I have like a normal week, we should be able to do 2,000 stitches in this week, which is exciting. Um, and now we're going to play my game. So if you're new here, you won't have missed much because I've only done this once before. But there are a lot of people recently who have started playing games on Flosstube. And I come from Booktube, as you may have known from my books and stitches. And it has been like a long-standing thing, like popular thing, where people play board games to figure out which books they're going to read in a month. And I've always loved that. Um, I've never really read enough books in a month 
to like be able to do that really. But when I saw people started playing games for cross stitch, I was like, that is so much fun. It's so cool that this community is now also doing that. So I made my own little board. I painted this. It's kind of like a snakes and ladders thing where you're just trying to get to the end. Um, I don't really have a price or something. I might at some point, but I don't really know. Um, but that is the end. And I just have a needle miner to like keep track of where we were at. And yeah, I will roll seven times. So once for each day and do that amount of steps. If there is a number on it, I will work on the project associated with that number. I have a list of 10 projects. If there's no number on it, I will pick a card with a prompt. And I have 10 at the moment, but I am looking to make that more. So if you have any fun ideas for prompts, please let me know. Um, there are some special blocks like this one where you have to go backwards or this one where you have to go forwards. If you end up in jail, you have to double the amount of stitches. And with these paths, you can choose or I can choose to add 50 stitches to the goal and skip a part of the section. So last time I ended up here and chose not to do that because I already had like a big stitching amount because I had to go backwards like once or twice. And I ended up in jail um, right here. So I decided not to do that. But um, yeah, this is what we're starting from. And we're just going to play the game. I will write down notes to keep track of it as I go. Oh. sorry about that my phone just totally fell if there's a different angle that's why um hopefully i will have remembered to cut that out because that is always really loud when my phone falls um but hopefully i'll cut that out um anyway trying to remember where i was at so we're gonna play the board game i will make notes as i go to like keep track of what i need to do this week and the idea is just to work on one project a day just do do a couple of stitches on that so the goal for each roll will be 50 stitches unless you have to go in jail or take a shortcut or something in which case it would be 100 so they're small goals very small but this is just a little bit of fun a little bit of extra so i don't really have a way to film it where you can like see everything so I'm just gonna roll the dice and you'll just have to trust me in what it says and then um, the rest you can see so I rolled a two so we're gonna go one two which ends up with project number six which is the mother earth um, autumn mother earth from a magazine I don't remember which magazine, but I will show you in a little bit what it will look like. I just need to keep track of how often it has been rolled. So I haven't started that one yet. So that will be a new start, which is very exciting. And I also need to figure out if it's like makes more sense to do all the rolls first or what. Okay, I don't have a cover picture of that one yet either. Okay. Um... Hmm. You'll see that one when I actually stitch all this because I don't have anything to show you right now. For that one, I also still need to get the fabric. So that one is a bit more effort to start, but I'm very excited about them because they, those are beautiful. They were in, I don't know what, what magazine it was, but last year there were six of them, one for each season and a Halloween one and a Christmas one. So I'm going to start the autumn one and we're going to do 50 stitches on that, which is very exciting. Okay, time for the second roll. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, we can do a short cut, which I think we are gonna take. But first, let's see what project we end up working on. Cause that might also be part of why I decide to take or not take it. So I'm shuffling my pink cards and we're gonna work on a color wheel that's exciting okay so i need to grab my tablet for that i forgot to prep one 
Uh, I had plans on prepping a color wheel before starting this video, but I totally forgot about it. Um, so we're just going to look one up online. So color wheel picker. Um, wheel of colors. So we're just going to go with whatever is on this wheel, like base as the basis. Oh, let me make this dark or just forget that it has to be really dark for you to be able to see stuff. Now it's probably too dark actually. So weird. Yeah, so let's spin the wheel. Cyan, okay. So that's very similar to the last time we spun the wheel when we got light blue. I don't think that is any that has like really prominent cyan colors. So I think we're again gonna go with Amphitrite for the color wheel. Amphitrite is a Bella Filipina design and it is a mermaid in the sea. So I think that's the most cyan -y I have. The fabric on like the cover is very cyan -y. mine is more light blue, but still. I think that's the one we're gonna go with. So let me make a note of that. And we are gonna do a hundred in that to take the shortcuts. Um, and I will show you my starting points. So I have currently have 162 stitches done on this because last game I actually had to do 150 on this. So it's not super visible because it's just like one white line and a tiny bit of like orangey brownish colors. But I started in the middle and I am working on her stuff and the conch shell that is on top of that. So that is exciting. We're gonna do at least a hundred stitches on that. It might be more because we've only done two of the seven rolls, but yeah, it's I'm excited to work on this one again. Um, I'll tidy that up afterwards because that one takes a bit more effort than the others. Okay, let's roll again. Oh, need to remember to take the shortcut because we're gonna do the stitching for that. So, roll number three. Six, we're rolling really high today. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, we're in jail. So, we have to do 100 stitches again for whatever I pick now. Um, it also doesn't have a number, so we're just gonna take another card. Ooh, book pick, that's exciting. Uh, this means that I look at whatever book I'm currently reading and pick the whip that I think is the most closely associated with that. So right now I'm reading a middle grade book called A Mary and the Night Brothers, which is about a girl who discovers she has magic and is trying to find out what happened to her brother who disappeared. I don't really know if any of my projects really work for it. Um, it takes place in the summer, so the spring sampler and the autumn mother both don't really work, I don't think. Um, it's mm, difficult. When I made this prompt, I was reading a different book. And it was so much easier. Um, maybe we will go with Spring Sampler because it is like, no, because it's like magic mostly. Do I have anything that's really magical? I mean, there's always Persephone and Amphitrite. Yeah, I guess we'll do 100 stitches on Persephone because she's like the goddess of the underworld. So, or she's the goddess of spring and the queen of the underworld, but she's like a Greek goddess. So that's very magical. It's also Night Brothers, very dark. And that is dark because it's on black fabric. So yeah, we're going to do Persephone, but that is going to be a bit of a struggle to do 100 stitches on that because it is very tiny and it's one over one on black fabric so um but last time i tried to work on this was during the evening which was just not smart but this is what she'll look like when it's finished i love her uh, i'm not stitching the backgrounds but i'm still 
stitching like 26,000 black stitches on black fabric. So it's um, still going to be quite difficult. I have currently 50 stitches on it. And you probably can't really see it that well, but it's like, yeah, it's like 50 black stitches over here. Uh, I'm going to try and remember to work on it during daylight and see how much easier that is. It, or if I need to like buy a better light or like a magnifier or something for it. You can kind of see it like this. That's the starting point. Just in the bottom left corner, bottom right corner, I mean, working on black because there's a lot of black to stitch on. Uh, I probably will work on some other colors as well, but this whole section is very just black and dark grays because it is uh, over here. So I try to like make a line of where I imagined the dress would be to like cut out the backgrounds. But yeah, we're gonna do a hundred stitches on that. Now, um, as long as there isn't like a specific thing picking for Stephanie, I don't think I will pick her again for this week because I think a hundred is already kind of difficult on Persephone. But we'll see where the board takes us because we've only done three rolls so far. So roll number four, five. Okay, we're finishing the boards. One, two, three, four, and then we're done. So um, like I said, I don't really have um, a price yet. So I think for this, I will just make it that I can pick whatever whip I want to stitch on. And I really want to, hmm, and there's a couple I really want. Um, I think I really want to start uh, the A sitting in a tree project. Because, um, yeah, I haven't started that one yet. And I just think that one would be really fun. It's also one of the smaller ones and it's pretty easy. It is this one. It is sitting by um, Taylor and Cromwell. I have two other Taylor and Cromwell pieces I'm working on, including six, but this is, yeah, um, about two asexuals sitting in a tree and instead of kissing, they're screaming for help because they're stuck up there. And I just think this is such a funny and cute one. So that's what I'm gonna start. I don't have a start yet because it didn't get rolled last time. And we're gonna do 50 stitches on that. So four rolls, three more to go. We're gonna start back at the bottom. Two, okay. So one, two, that is that pink. This works really well with the magnet. I did not expect it to like be able to move that well, but I love it. So just a regular pink. So we're gonna pick a card, biggest whip. Okay, we're gonna do another 50 stitches on Persephone because I'm 90% sure that is my biggest whip. So I'm not gonna show you that again because you've already seen it, but I'll write down that we need to do another 50 on that pair. So that's okay. I do love that. So love pro that project, that artwork. So I'm excited to work. I'm not excited to work on it. I'm excited to have it done. So hey, 150 means we're getting it done quicker, right? Six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Another regular pink. My smallest whip. Opposite. Okay, that is Pumpkin Patch Piles, which is from... A magazine. I don't remember which one, but I will show you which one when I actually work on it. I don't have the cover for this printed out, but this is my starting point. Um, I have done a hundred stitches on this so far and it is already so cute. It is basically three pumpkins with kitties on top of it and it's just adorable. But I will show you what it will look like when I actually stitch on it, but it is this one. Very cute. So we're gonna work 50 stitches on that one. And for the last roll, two. Okay, so we're gonna have to roll again. One, oh, I just said how well it works and the magnet fell off. That's fine. One, two. So first, a pink one. Least progress. Okay, so that's something I haven't started yet. Um, There are a couple that I haven't started yet, but Two of them are already gonna be started and I think it would be fun to get like everything started. So let's go with 
the pride flag, the black work pride flag. I am really in the mood for some black work. So yeah, uh, I don't have that one bought yet. Technically, I know exactly which one I want to do. Um, I've wanted to do it for years now, but I haven't bought it yet. So I will buy it this one or this week, I mean, and I will show you what it will look like finished once I have it. Um, but yeah, it's not started yet. So I'm not starting the picture. And now because we had an arrow backwards, we have to roll again and move that many spaces backwards. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my God, that's another roll that we're adding. Okay. It's another pink card. Ooh, song lyric pick. That's fun. So that basically means I pick a song that I've been listening to a lot lately or just most recently and pick a project that I in some way relate to that. Um, I've been listening to a lot of Sabrina Carpenter. So her latest album is um, Short and Sweet. And... The first song that comes to mind when I think of that album is It's Juno, um, which is all about being attracted to a guy. Let's say it like that. It is um, it's very sexually tinted, it's, um, it, but it's a very funny song. Um, and I think I'm actually going to do the ace sex asexual tree for that because it's like the opposite of the song, which I think is kind of funny. Um, it is very much about being attracted to someone. The song and like being a sexual is like the opposite because we don't really experience sexual attraction. So I think that is a fun way to connect the two. It's like the opposite of the song. So I'm going to do the asexual tree for that. So we have to do 15 more stitches on that one. And then hopefully the last roll because we landed on another arrow to go forwards. One, okay, that was the last row. And that is oh, a number three, which means we'll work on whip number three, which is the spring sampler. Ooh, that one is fun. That one is actually the one I am furthest ahead on, because I started that one impulsively before starting the game, and I had to do 100 stitches on it last week. But that is this one. It is by Kuda Design Studio, artwork by Sandy Orton. And we're gonna do a 50, 50 stitches on that this week. So let me grab it and show you the starting points. I have all these projects in two project bags. So five in this one and five in another one. So they're easy to get. And this is my starting point. So I started in the middle on the little bouquet. And I'm hoping we can finish the bouquet, but I don't know if 50 stitches will be enough for that because this is 282 stitches. <laughs> so that is what I'll do for my game this week. This will be a long video. Uh, I think it will be like the regular length going forward, but yeah, this is gonna be a long one. Um, to wrap that up, I'm gonna do 150 stitches on Persephone, 50 on the spring sampler, 100 on Amphitrite, 100 on the asexual tree, uh, 50 on Mother Earth Autumn, 50 on the Pumpkin Patch Pals, and 50 on the Blackbird Pride Flag. So yeah, you'll see me working on those slowly. I do need to work um, on more than one project, at least once this week, because there are... Oh no, there are exactly seven. Okay, so we only have to work on one each day, but one of those days we do then have to do 150 stitches, which is a lot, because we ended up getting a lot of extra rolls in that last roll. Uh, I would not have skipped forward if I'd known that ahead of time, but that's the fun of the game. Sometimes you get a lot of extra stitches. So the idea is that I only have to do 350 stitches each week, but for example, this time we ended up with like 200 extra stitches. So that's fine. Just means more progress, right? Just mean less progress on Disney, but we'll see how it ends up. Um, I will show you a little clip each day, probably, of what I ended up working on for the game. And then for Disney and Six, I will just show you when I move the hoop or I have finished the goal for Disney or at the end of the week. And I'll try to film another like ending video on Sunday to start the next week. It might be Monday, depending on when I get stuff done. But yeah. 
thank you so much for watching and um i hope you enjoy it i'm talking as if i'm ending the video because this video is 25 minutes long but um yeah no we're just this is just the start of the regular vlog uh i might end up splitting these in two going forwards depending on how long this ends up being i might um have a video of me playing the game and then another video of the actual like vlog like updates that i usually do i think it would be more fun to have than one video though so i just need to see how long it ends up being and what my phone can handle but yeah i'll see you in the next clip hi it is now monday and i just did 152 stitches on persephone so i figured i would just start with the most difficult one immediately you can kind of see it there are some other colors than black which is helpful um i did notice that the daylight helped a bit but mostly the colors that weren't black were just a lot easier than the colors that are black but yeah it's still not like very visible or a lot which it won't be very visible for a really long time but um yeah this is what it looks like right now and i'm just working slowly on her dress and yeah that is it for this clip not too much to show but 152 stitches on persephone and the biggest goal for the game is now done as well as what i think is the most difficult because of the black fabric but yeah i am really happy with it and it was a lot easier then the last time I worked on it, I think that is mainly because I wasn't stitching black, but the daylight did help a bit as well. Um, yeah, I don't know the best way to show this, if it's like better to like hold it so that you can't see through it, or if the see-through is actually helping you see where I stitched. So um, that's it for this clip, and I will see you in the next one. Hello, it is now the Tuesday, um, and I have not done much stitching, but I did get started it's just that I got started late I guess because um yeah I've done a regular amount of stitching maybe but just I've started later so today I haven't yeah we'll see how much stitching I end up doing I don't know this clip is weird my mind is like ooh, brain fog um anyway none of that matters <sighs> let's start over hi thank you for <laughs> sticking with me throughout all this um i just did a hundred stitches on the ace tree that's just what i'm going to be calling it it's the asexual sitting in a tree one um it's 117 stitches because i just wanted to finish my threads so yeah 17 extra but that's okay i think this one i'll do color completing because there are not that many colors and they're also like in pretty big chunks so yeah this is what it looks like so this is a pretty small chart like it's smaller than i realized i think because it's only 1489 stitches and there is back stitching that obviously not counted in that but it's like 1400 stitches that's all like i'm so used to doing these big charts and the other small ones that i'm doing right now like the pumpkin patch pals which you will see later in this video um they're um like from a magazine so i don't have them on powder keeper so i don't know how big they are let me actually show you what this will look like finished that's probably nice for you um yeah i'm so it's really difficult to figure out how bright i need to do it because if i do it all the way dark you can like barely see anything but if yeah this works well nice so this is what it will look like just working on one of the greens I like it. So that's it for today though. I will hopefully get some stitching in on six because I didn't get any on in on that yesterday. And I do really want to get caught up. I want to wanna I wanna say you want to stay caught up, but I'm not even caught up. So I'm like 200 behind, I think. So I wanna definitely get at least a hundred in on that. Um and then I will continue with Disney. That is going like relatively okay. I'm doing about 300 stitches on that each day so far. We'll see if I can do that today or not, but um, hopefully. And yeah, that's it for today. I'll see you in the next clip and we'll see what we work on then. 
Um, yeah, it's really just impulse what I work on each day from the game, other than obviously choosing from what has been rolled. But like today, I was like, oh, I just don't want to think. Just do like one color. And I was like, oh, that's it. the tree one is very block heavy. Let's do that. So we'll see. Maybe ne tomorrow I'll be like, oh, I want to do lots of different colors. I don't want to do block stitching at all. And then I'll be more likely to pick out the spring sampler. We'll see. Uh, I like that this is giving me choices, but it's very limited choices with very concrete goals so that I, yeah, it's like the perfect mix between freedom and this is what you have to do. That that works well for me because if I have all the freedom, I like end up not doing anything or like spending half an hour trying to figure out, ooh, what should I do? And if I have too many strict rules, I'll get like super stressed out if I get behind so so far this is working very well I'm gonna put this away now um one last thing I just got an email that two of the fabrics I had ordered um were gonna get sent later because they only had two in stock but uh they can't get them anymore which is really annoying because it is what I started my spring sampler on because I ordered four of the same kinds of fabrics uh it's this fabric it's an antique white and they can't get it anymore apparently they do have the same count in white so i ordered that instead or like i said it was okay to get that instead but i don't know how similar that will be we'll see when it arrives hopefully it won't be too bad because i am doing was planning on doing the whole series on the same that fabric not the same piece but like the same kind so, I mean, this is pretty white, so I'm hoping it will work out with being white. And I'll probably just make sure not to put the winter on one of the new ones and put the winter on the other antique white I have, because that is obviously a lot of white in itself. But yeah, I'm kind of like, ooh, how similar is that going to look? Or is it going to be like really weird? But I think it will be okay. I don't like have concrete plans of how I want to like finish these, but... If I like finish them in that they hang up one each season, it won't matter. So maybe I'll do that because I'll just like frame them and have like it in spring, the spring one up. And then in summer, I'll remove the spring one and put the summer one up. Then you won't see the difference. So maybe I'll do that because if you put them next to each other, I think you will see the difference. But I don't know. Like I said, I don't have the fabric yet. They only just emailed me about it. So, um just crossing my fingers that they're not too different and that it will work um but yeah i had specifically <laughs> ordered four pieces because i wanted them all in the same type of fabric so whatever it will be fine um i need to cut fabric i really don't want to cut fabric which is why i have not done it yet but i need to do it before well before sunday because i Need to do 50 stitches on Mother Earth, the autumn one, and she has not had her fabric cut yet, so need to go do that. But I think that will be um, either tomorrow or this weekend's task, because both Thursday and Friday I have like things going on. So and today I had things going on as well. So I think I don't have anything planned for tomorrow. I don't think, and otherwise it would be Saturday or Sunday. But yeah, it's fine. I still have other things to work on. So just gonna, I was gonna say I'm gonna go do that now, but I have to do other stuff before I can stitch again. So I'm gonna do less fun stuff that has to get done. And then after that, I will reward myself with some more stitching. Um, probably on six, because I really do want to get that done and get caught up again. See you in the next clip. Hi, it is now Wednesday, um, October 17th. I don't look great because I need to go shower after this, but I wanted to get some stitching in before like getting really started on the day. Um, so you're just going to have to deal with it. It's fine. Uh, I got started on my black work pride flag. So it is this one. It is from Peppermint Purple. Oh, let me make it a bit darker. I thought I had it right, but I guess not. Yeah, I guess that's the best I can do. That's what it will look like when it's finished. And 
I only have to do 50 stitches on this. So I am counting them double. So I do like 100 back stitches to count as 50 stitches just because that makes sense in my brain. So this is 100 back stitches for 50 stitches. I decided to just start in the middle because I'm not super confident on my cutting of the fabrics because this is the first time I'm cutting fa this fabric, this like um, opalescence, I think the English word is, uh, fabric that I'm doing a lot of these board game pieces on. I were the first ones I cut myself and I'm not super confident about it. So I figured if I start in the middle, it would be fine because it's definitely big enough. I just don't know how much border I gave myself. Um, but yeah, so I just started in the middle. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to do all the black first or just do like one block and then fill it in. But right now we're just working on the like the gray bands. It's like black, but it's not black because it's this is black. The outlines of all the bands are black and then the fill in will be a dark gray of this one. But yeah, um, that's it. And then also yesterday I did a lot of stitches on six. I actually did 200 stitches instead of just 50. So I'm only one day behind right now. So hopefully we can get caught up on that today. Um, but I am now finished with this section. So we're gonna move the hoop. So before I get started on that, I'm gonna show you what it looks like um, completely. This one I gave, <laughs> apparently gave myself a lot of border on. So this is what it looks like right now. So five of the six blocks are completely done and we're getting really close on the fifth one. And then the sixth one will have already have two of the like edges done. So yeah, we're getting so close to finishing this border. I'm so excited about that. So I think I'm gonna do the horizontal part now and get that closed. I'm not 100% sure yet. I also might do the vertical part. I think I can get them both in the, the same hoop. So I can just, yeah, I can definitely get both of those in the corner in the same hoop. So we'll see what I'm in the mood for. Might even be like a mix of both <laughs> since they can fit in the same hoop. Um, but yeah, you'll see it again at the end of this week's vlog, but then it will be in the hoop because I highly doubt I'll be able to fill in another section. So this is the total you're gonna see. And then next time you're just gonna see like this section only, but hopefully a lot more filled in. Cause if I manage to get caught up and stay caught up, I will do another 250 stitches. So half of like a section. Um, Yeah, that's it for today. Or like for this clip, I'm gonna do summer six stitching today, work on Disney. I may or may not pull out another game piece. Um, I would like to, but I don't know how much time I will have because tomorrow I have to work and I get started on work pretty early. So like not super early, but like to the point where I don't know if I'll have stitching time depending on how I sleep. So I would prefer not to have to do any stitching on a game piece tomorrow. So we'll see if I get to that or not. Otherwise we'll just do it tomorrow afternoon and that just means less stitching on Disney or maybe having to get caught up on six on Friday, which is also fine, of, of course. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. And I will see you in the next clip, which will be either tomorrow or Friday, depending on the stitching I do. Or maybe even today, if I work on another game piece, because then I will show it to you today. We'll see. Um, you will find out in just a few seconds. I still the same day. Um, there's a lot of work in like, I don't know, neighbors in their gardens or something. So it's kind of loud. I hope you can't hear it too much. Uh, but either way, I did 50 more stitches on my pumpkin patch bells. So I continued on with the oranges. So I finished my thread of the lighter orange and then did the dark orange around it and yeah, probably next time I'll continue with this one since it's hanging, but we'll see what I'm in the mood for next time I roll it and work on it. But it is very cute. I'm working on the middle one. I can't actually remember if I showed you what it will look like complete because um, this one I don't have 
print it out. So I think I probably for, haven't shown you that yet. So let me, this is what it will look like when it's finished. So it is from Just Cross Stitch, the Autumn 2024. But it's really cute. It's just some small cats on little pumpkins and I'm working on the one in the middle. So it's going slowly because I'm only doing 50 stitches but it is so adorable. I love it. And yeah, I can't wait to work on this again. But for now, it's going to go away until it comes up in the game again. It's it's so cute. I love it. Um, I want to get some more of the kitty done as well. So maybe next time I'll work a strand of black or gray in the kitty. But we'll see. Adorable. And I will film again. Oh, actually, let me show you what I've done on six. So it looks kind of weird right now because I did 50 on the horizontal. Uh, yeah, the horizontal and 50 on the vertical just to make double sure that it met up where I expected it to meet up, which it did. I don't think there is a way to go wrong anymore considering I already did the ones to the left of this, but it met up where I wanted it to meet up. So that's great. Um, but it look, it's looking kind of weird right now. So I think I'll probably just fill in this section first and then do this section. But we'll see. There's also always the possibility that I will do this one strand here, one strand here, etc. But I think that would get annoying pretty quickly. So anyway, I'm just going to go. Any other stitching time I have today is going to go into Disney. And that will be it. So I will film probably on Friday. I probably won't film a clip tomorrow because of work. And I am not planning on stitching for the game tomorrow. That's why I did the pumpkin patch pals today. So yeah, you'll see another clip probably on Friday when I work on the next thing for my game. We still have to do 50 stitches on Mother Earth Autumn, but I need to cut fabric for that. So that is not gonna happen anytime soon but I do need to do it because I need to work on it this weekend so need to do that um I also need to do 100 stitches on them for Tridy and 50 more on the spring sampler so yeah um we'll see what I work on on Friday see you then well it is now Saturday evening it's been a couple days with very little stitching but today I got back into it so I have two projects to show you First, I did 100 stitches on Amphitrite for the game. So I did this like pinkish color and this orangey color. The color that goes in between, I don't have. Because when I bulk bought all the colors I was missing, I forgot to look at Amphitrite. So yeah, I don't have the color that goes in between. I've put it on the list. So I'll, got, I'll get it at some point. I don't know. I, probably not anytime soon because I just bought a lot of BMC. So... But it's on the list, so I'll get it at some point. But yeah, 100 stitches exactly. This, oh no, that this is the white. Uh, the pink thread is over here that is sparks because there's still more left in it. But yeah. So that is what this one looks like. I really like it. I really love the fabric I'm stitching it on too. It's um, like a printed fabric. Anyway. Besides that, I also have to show you my big Disney piece. I did 2,025 stitches on this. I have no idea if you can see much of it because most of what I did was shades of white. So let me show you a bit closer up. Maybe that will make it more clear. So I did a lot in here in um, Eric's shirt and then also a lot in here in like the lighter parts of Ariel's dress and there were like a couple stitches in his hair and in like the banister here a bit in this like between area uh, Ariel's hand is over here there are like a couple stitches that went in there and then went up to her face but overall I mostly did shades of white because when I was doing it I figured I'll just do the color over the whole page because I don't like doing these shades of white and I don't want to have to do them over and over so let's just get them over with now so I just did them all like in the page like this you can kind of see what's covered and what isn't so yeah I've color completed the colors I stitched within the page and I'm now at 12.65 percent so that's 
So still a lot to go, but we're 2,000 stitches closer. And because of that, we're going to pick a new focus piece to work on. I won't touch it today because any stitching I will get done today, like I've stitched on it today already. It's quite late right now. I don't know if I'll get any more stitching done in the evening, but if I do, it will either be for the game because I need to work on the spring sampler and Mother Earth Autumn. I still need to cut the fabric from Mother Earth, so I have to do that tomorrow. But I can work on the spring sampler and I also need to work on six because... Like I said, very little to no stitching got done the last couple of days, so I'm behind on that again, so I need to get caught up on that. So I don't think I'll do any more stitching, but if I do, it'll be on one of those two projects. But we are going to pick a whip to work on and as my focus project for tomorrow. So I grabbed the cards. Uh, Ariel's going to go away because we already worked on that one, but the others are in here. So... Let's shuffle and pick my next focus piece. I don't know if there's one that I'm like hoping for or not. Um, yeah, I think I'm in a mood for all of them. So that's good. I am kind of in the mood for a smaller goal though. So it would be nice to get like a thousand stitch goal, but... Oh, Sabrina, that is a thousand stitch goal. And I've been listening so much to her new album. Like, I love it. Um, but this work is based on our previous album, um, Emo's I Can't Send. It is a custom pattern I ordered from Taylor and Cromwell. Uh, let me see if I can show you on my tablet what it will look like. But you will see it in the next clip anyway. But, um, few mock-up. Oh, no, few PDF. Keep misclicking. There we go. Oh, and then I need to make it very dark. So you can see it. There you go. That is what it will look like. It is based on her album cover for Emo's I Can't Send. And it has lyrics from all the songs on that album in it. And yeah, I will show you where I'm starting from tomorrow. But... I am currently at 46.3%. This is probably my project that's closest to a finish, I think. Either this one or Mermaids of the Season. Um, but yeah, I've done 9,534 stitches so far out of 20,594. And I will add another thousand stitches to it. Uh, I'll probably not all be in this video because... I don't think I'll do that all tomorrow, but I will get a start on it tomorrow and show you where I'm starting from and also what I get done tomorrow. And then um, you'll see it again in the next video. But for now, that's where I'm going to end this clip. I will see you again tomorrow when I will hopefully be caught up on six. And have stitched 50 pieces on Spring Sampler. And I've cut the Mother Earth fabric and stitched 50 pieces on that. So that's actually quite a lot. So I don't know if I'll get any stitching on Sabrina done, actually. But we'll see. Uh, I probably will. But yeah, see you tomorrow. Hi, it is Sunday and I got to start on Mother Earth Autumn. So it's just 50 stitches because that's all we rolled. But I cut the fabric into six pieces and yeah it's like a greenish fabric but it's not like bright or anything but because I want to do them all on the same fabric and winter is very light obviously I didn't want to do it on white and I thought this would work for all of them at least all of the seasons and I have pieces of fabric for the Christmas and Halloween one too if I end up wanting to stitch them but yeah it's just 50 stitches nothing much but a nice start. I am enjoying it. So I'm going to do some stitching on the spring sampler. And then I'll have done everything for the game. Um, I think I will film. I will definitely film when I've done the spring sampler to show you. And I think I will film an ending clip to this video. Like towards the evening to see how much I get done during the rest of the day. But yeah. Um... I think that's it. Excited to have another start. I 
I think there are two more projects on the list that I have not yet started yet too. So there is Robins and the Temperature Cell. Those haven't been ruled yet, so we'll see when those get started. But all the others have now been started. So that's eight new projects in two weeks, which is crazy for me. But these are long-term plans and they're just fun. So yeah, uh, gonna end this clip and stitch 50 stitches on the spring sampler, which shouldn't take very long. Hi, it's only like, I don't know, half an hour later, 20 minutes later, but I did the stitching on the spring sampler. So I did this like brownish color. It is half stitches, so it went quick, but it looks like more because I did 108 half stitches for 54 stitches, so four extra. But yeah, this is what it looks like right now. And we'll work on it again next time it gets rolled. I'm excited to put more into this. I really am enjoying this one a lot. So yeah, not much to show, but this is what it looks like now. Hi, um, still Sunday, it's evening now. I'm gonna get started on stitching some on Sabrina. So this is what it will look like finished. I talked about it when I pulled it, so I'm not going to go into detail about it, but this is where I'm starting. So I finished this section last time and worked a bit on those black words. I'm going to continue working on the bottom now and going back up. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Um. This video will probably have only one more clip in which I wrap everything up, but I think I'm gonna film that tomorrow morning because it's getting kind of late and I'm when I'm done stitching, I think I'll probably just be really tired and go to bed. So I will wrap up this video in the morning and show you what I ended up getting done on Sabrina today, what I got done on six this week and then We'll wrap it up and film the intro for the next week's game, which will be exciting. So yeah, I think that's it for this clip. Um, Sabrina is on 16 count, I believe, and it's like a beigey color, but I don't remember what color exactly it is. Um, and everything else you already know. So see you next clip. Hi, it is now Monday morning and it's time to wrap this video up. So last night I did get some stitches done on my Sabrina piece. I got around 300 stitches done and I just put in this red color. So I extended the border in this color and then started some of the words. So the whole phrase will say, um, oh God. I only just got out of bed, so I'm not like really all there. there. Uh, if I fall in love with all my problems, will they leave me too? So I'm working on leave me too. The L is still missing, but yeah, uh, that is where I got to. And with that, we're ending the week. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please let me know what you think of this like new format with the game and everything. I'm really enjoying it. But if there are like any changes you would like to see, let me know. Like if there's any tweaks you think that could make things more fun to watch or anything, just feel, please feel free to comment and I will take that into account. Um, also, if you have any like fun ideas of things you want me to add to the game, whether that's prompt or just like something completely new that you've made up, let me know as well. I'm always happy to change things and include more fun things. But for now, that is going to be it for this week. So thank you so much for watching again. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you again in the next video. Bye.